channel. I was in Birmingham this morning speaking at the New Culture Forum's 2023 conference entitled Our Future, A New Vision for Britain. The conference was a celebration of patriotic feeling, reflecting on our country's history and looking forward to our future with optimism instead of the usual cynicism. I'm delighted to be joined from Birmingham by Peter Whittle, the founder and director of the New Culture Forum. Good evening, Peter. Long time no see. Hi there. Hi there, Emma, and it was a wonderful speech you gave too. Thank you very much. It's very been much. a looking, fantastic looking day very here dark in Birmingham. Where because... you are. Are you, can you tell us a bit more about the purpose of the conference? Well, I mean, basically, the point is what we don't want to be uh, at this conference, Emma, is kind of like just constantly whining and talking about all the problems we face, and they are legion. I mean, the point really is, is that the people who came here today, it's over now, but we had hundreds of people here. Uh, they are all patriotic people. Uh, they're not racist. They're not bigots. They're not any of these things. They care desperately about the future of the country. And of course, they want to feel optimism. And indeed, so do I. And so that's really the point of our, our conference today. And it's, we have it every year around St. George's Day. St. George's Day, of, of course, is tomorrow, Sunday. Um, but one of the main things about it, it was basically how can we, if you like, bring this country together again, but also in a way which totally uh, celebrates our past and our history. No shame. There should be no shame about what is a wonderful heritage. And you, uh, you did a video a few, I think it was a year or so ago, you actually showed at last year's conference, yeah. listing all of the things that we have to be proud of as a nation. What do we have to be proud of, Peter? Well, I mean, where do you start, Emma? I mean, uh, you know, wh where do you start? Uh, you know, it, extraordinary. We, we almost invented, in some ways, the modern world. You know, that's no, you know, that's no uh, exaggeration. Extraordinary, the scientific method wonderful literature, you know, the Industrial Revolution, uh, extraordinary scientific invention, brilliant literature. It, it is quite extraordinary what this country actually has done, considering as well its size. We, we tend to forget that, you know, this is a very small island. Um, and I think that the point is really with the New Culture Forum and the people who are here today, is that they realise that and they, they really are appalled and dismayed by the way in which even being just gently proud of this is now considered something which is verboten. Um, and that's something we have to change. And it's certainly something we have to change if we want to survive as a nation. Why, um, why, do you, why do you think, Peter, people have become so cringy about English patriotism? Because patriotism used to be viewed as a virtue and something obviously quite dramatic has changed. Well, exactly. Emma, it is a, a virtue. It's a good thing to have. It's a communal feeling. It's not belligerent. It's not aggressive. It is just a, a sense of where we are, where we come from, and what is good about us. It brings people together. It's a community. The reason that I think that it's been actually uh, in a bad way recently it goes back years. It's not, it's not actually necessarily to do with wokery or any of the things that we tend to discuss now. The kind of downgrading of British patriotism has been there since the Second World War. And a lot of that was to do with the idea that the nation state was a bad thing and the British nation state particularly was particularly bad. Um, that is, that's happened over, what, five decades, six decades. And so consequently, if the culture stops teaching its, its history and stops teaching reasons to be proud, you will end up in the situation in which we are now. I think the difference is now is that we are seeing what is an outright attack on that. I think it's become much more acute. I'm going to bring the panel in now on this. Um, Scarlett, what, what do you think we have to be proud of as a nation? Do you think we have reason to be optimistic? I certainly think we have reason to be optimistic. I think I think that we can we can we can do we can do great things. 
what what worries me actually a bit is, is you going on about St George's when we do have uh, we have Scottish and Welsh, but but if if you look at the St George's flag, I mean when I feel really happy about it is when we've got a football team and you see people of all colours raise, raising the flag and and feeling absolutely at that time it's English. I mean it's the English team and and I think people who say that we're not proud, but. I also think, I think there's nothing wrong with understanding the mistakes we made in our history. I mean, there is nothing wrong with understanding that actually we did make a lot of money from slavery and slavery is evil, right? That we did make a mistake when, uh, when, when we gave independence to the Indians and a million people died. That I think there's nothing wrong with understanding history as nuances instead of just a pageantry of we were right, we were always right. Ollie, do you, do you think that uh, patriotism is a virtue? Yeah, I think it's very important to have patriotism as well. But sadly, in the modern society, it is being eroded. When you see, you know, the, the English flag, you know, people will say, oh, you're right wing, you're racist. You know, this is a beautiful country. We should be celebrating our history. We should also be looking at the bad things in history and learning from those mistakes. But every country does bad things in history. You know, every, every population has been through something difficult. But we need to come together. We need to remember what makes this country special. You know, you've got the monarchy. You've got, of course, fish and chips. You've got an amazing history that goes back thousands and thousands thousands of years, you know, we had the Romans here as well. So there's so many great things here to celebrate. So we should be coming together as a nation to be more proud of it because so many young people these days, they can't tell you what it means to be British, you know, because they're not really being taught that in schools. They're not being taught about this beautiful, rich history of this nation. So I think we need to get back to that. And the football, like um, Scarlett said, brings people together. That's a great thing, but we need more of that. So like tomorrow, St. George's Day, that should be a day of celebration, mm -hmm. barbecues if the weather's nice. Um, and, you know, a celebration, get the flags out, enjoy the day. There we are. Patriotism is a virtue. Thank you so much, Peter Whittle. That was Peter Whittle there from the New Culture Forum. And thank you also for having me uh, to give a speech earlier today. And thank you for your time. This Pleasure, evening. Emma. Now you can go back and have a drink with everybody else. So thank you.